Money, 1973, Pink Floyd. Cool, cool tune. Definitely stepping into the world of progressive rock. Um, in this lesson, we're going to learn a lot of different things we can do with this song and a little bit of history of the song and, and some stuff like that. But the main couple things we're going to talk about are unusual time signatures. It's in 7-4 time. And keeping a cool riff going, we're going to address how to sing with something really complicated like this, which will really carry over into all kinds of uh, lessons on singing. And we'll talk about blues a little bit too, because Pink Floyd does a lot of, a lot of their songs kind of slip into a 12 bar blues form after they've done the main riff and stuff. So uh, anyway, that's some of the things we're going to be looking at here. Now the, we'll look at some alternate fingerings too of different ways of playing it. You may have noticed that uh, sometimes I played the riff one way, sometimes I played it another way. And we'll talk about why we choose one over the other. When Roger Waters, so this was mainly a Roger Waters tune, but uh, when he plays it on the guitar, he plays it in a very simple way, using as many open notes as possible. When David Gilmour plays it, he uses some bent notes, or he, he frets some of the notes that could be played open because he wants to get a little bit of a bluesy twist on them. So we'll look at that too, some of the different fingerings and stuff in there, of course. Now the album, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, was of course a land-breaking album, so I'm, I'm not going to go into too much into it right now because we've, we've discussed it in other, uh, on other Pink Floyd lessons. power chord on B. We, can, we really need three notes here played. We need the second fret of the fifth string and the fourth fret of the fourth string and the fourth fret of the third string. Well, the key to your right hand in this song is keeping it moving all the time. You could see me just pounding away on the bass notes right there. I was playing the riff, keeping this constant motion of downs and ups going, and it's difficult to hit those notes clean. Notice the actual angle that I'm coming in at to the strings. Well again, Money is an example of a great riff-based tune, so let's talk about the riff first. It is so simple. It's ridiculous. Uh, we just have, again, our B minor or really our B power chord, B5, fingered here, and we're going to start with a down on the fifth string, down on the third string, and then an up on the fourth, and that's the first three beats. Doom, do, do, do. Oh, swing time. These eighth notes are not equal. There's a little bit of a delay after the down that is on beat two. One, two, and three. section to the tune. This is where we would have somebody play a lead. And a couple things happen interestingly in this part. The first thing is, well, maybe a whole bunch of interesting things. I'm only going to talk about a couple of them. Uh, it slips right into a 12-bar blues formula. Singing and playing at the same time. Now, there is something that is really, really challenging and difficult for most people. So the first time you try to do it, it probably, it probably didn't work. And you, you were, it could have been a very simple song. You might have just been strumming, I don't know, Michael wrote a boat ashore or something, and you, still, and you couldn't figure out how to get your, your uh, how to work on words and stuff like that. With a song like Money, or with, actually with any song, there's about five, you know, maybe 15, maybe 30 or 40 different things that you can think about while you're trying to coordinate the, the playing and the singing. Okay, metronome play a long time. I have a metronome set at 120, a little slower than the real speed. We'll run through, I'm going to try to sing this and see what happens. We'll run through the riff a couple times, then through a couple of verses, then into a 12 bar blues. You can play along in the key of B minor, up there around the 7th fret, make up some cool leads. And then we'll try to sing the third verse and see what happens. We're going to count off seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. should be about all you need to be able to play money. Of course, you might have to bring your own cash register and, and, and other kind of stuff. And sax player, always fun to play, to play with sax players. Uh. 